Okay, listen, if you think Microsoft doesn't care about you, you're wrong, my brother, because last night they hit the big update to Windows 11 and now we can change default browser with one click. Yeah, Microsoft still loves us. You just need to cry out loud so they can hear us. So this is the update for Windows 11, which will allow you to change default browser in Windows 11 with one click. If you're using Windows 11, you should get this update right now and start using your favorite browser as default. If you go to the default apps settings, from there, whichever browser you're using, I use Chrome, okay? If you click on that, you can see there is a new option at the top which says set default. So basically, if I click on this, now the Google Chrome browser is the default browser. For most of the internet stuff, I think it does great job to make a Chrome as a default browser. If you use Firefox, then you can also use Firefox as a default browser. This is just a demo that yeah, Microsoft still loves us. Actually, this is the proof that <laughs> Microsoft still loves us, okay? In some of the file extension types, Microsoft Edge is still default, like for PDF. So you can actually change them if you want to. You can change uh, any program to view a PDF file as default. And uh, if I want to make a Microsoft Edge as a default browser, if I click on that, you can see my Microsoft Edge browser is now a default browser, but you notice something here. Chrome browser is still a default for opening a WebP format. Microsoft can't do anything about it because Google is the one who made this extension type. So basically it is a image type which works on Google Chrome better. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I think Microsoft is doing a great job by listening to their users. And uh, even though we have to cry out loud, <laughs> this feature was criticized by many people uh, and many web browser makers like Google itself, Mozilla. Microsoft was just trying to force people to use a Microsoft Edge as their default browser. Uh, but now I think uh, they have realized something. I don't know what they have realized. I don't have an explanation. But now they have fixed the issue. We can say that Microsoft still loves us even though it's like a tiny bit of love. Uh, they still love us. <laughs> I don't know if I should say this. I am a you know, truly the Windows user, no matter how bad the Windows is, I still use Windows because it just works for everything, program to gaming, you know, Windows is just best for everything. So, you know, as a Windows user, if you want to make Windows better, then, you know, we should all start using Feedback Hub and uh, start crying. Or basically what I'm trying to say here is that start requesting a feature or suggesting a feature or start reporting a problem. So Microsoft will listen to us. If only me cry here out loud, I'm sure that Microsoft will never listen to me because I'm alone. But if many of us cry together out loud, then I'm sure that Microsoft will listen to us. So this update is the result of that. Many people requested this feature and uh, now look at the Microsoft. Yes, they have to listen to the community, you know. <laughs> So that's that. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm not going to talk too much. That's it. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.